Although it is true that I consciously started working on myself after reading the book Seven Strategies for Wealth and Happiness by Jim Rohn, this book was the very first book about personal development that started my personal development journey. Where was I going with this? This all to say that according to the way I enjoy walking this path the most, I always put first to be, to do, and then to have. So I don't really understand why the authors of this book decided to arrange the next chapters and the secret to money, the secret to relationship, and the secret to health. If it were me, I would have done health, relationship, and money. I would have started with health because I don't care how much money I have if I'm dead. And I would have put relationship before money because, uh, you know, without people around me, I don't really need the money and it's much tougher to make the money. So, you know what I mean? <laughs> everybody needs everybody else! Anyhow, the book is not mine. I I haven't written it, so we shall proceed through the pages of the book the way they've been put together. All right? <laughs> the secret to money. On page 96, we find the following quote. When you have an inspired thought, you have to trust it and act on it. This is a very important point because most of the people tend to think about the law of attraction as if it were something that magically manifests things into your reality now. Although I'm not an expert and I do believe that we can create our reality through the power of our thoughts, I honestly think and feel that in our current dimension we'll have to help it. Take inspired action. In other words, I can meditate and visualize what I desire. And through that experience, I might receive new stimulus, new inspirations, new ideas to act upon. But if I still see there, nothing is going to happen. You gotta take inspired action. Page 96. Thinking and feeling is awesome. Visualization is good. In the dimension we're in, we gotta act. How many times do I have to tell you? You gotta take inspired action. How about that? Hmm? How about that? To attract money, you gotta focus on wealth. Focus on the abundance of wealth to attract it to you. We gotta do what feels good, but we still gotta do it. Anything that's easy to do, it's also very simple not to do. And all that it requires to do the right thing is discipline. Back to the Jim Rohn's seven strategies for wealth and happiness. <laughs> such a geek, I'm such a geek, such a geek. If you want abundance, if you want prosperity, then focus on abundance and prosperity. What if you don't? You're not gonna get any. Man, when the idea of starting this YouTube channel came to my mind, I couldn't even sleep at night. That's how inspired I was about taking this action. I just love doing it. Such a geek, such a geek. Oh, this, is, this is awesome. This is good, this is a good one. Your wealth is waiting in the invisible. And to attract it into the visible, I gotta read it because I don't remember. Think wealth. As Murphy Shminov says, Murphy Shminov, is that how you pronounce it? I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. Go for the inner joy, the inner peace, the inner vision first, and then all the other things will appear. The effect is inspired action. The cause is the thinking, right? Everything we want is inside. The outside world is the world of effect. It is just the result of thoughts. Wealth is a mindset. It's all about how you think. And that's the only how you gotta focus on. How you think. What you think. How you perceive your thoughts. The following one is probably the most powerful quote of the book. The moment you decide that what you know is more important than what you have been taught to believe, you will have shifted gears in your quest for abundance. Success comes from within, not from without. Fantastic. Spectacular. The secret to relationships. Thoughts create the words we speak, the feelings we feel, and our actions. Boom. Simple as that. When we want to attract something into our life, we gotta make sure that our actions don't contradict our desire. In order to better relate with others, we gotta first learn how to relate with ourselves. Once again, the creation of our reality starts from within. Even Jim Rohn has something to say on the subject. He says, I take care of me for you, so that you don't have to take care of me. So please take care of you for me, so that I don't have to take care of you. Mm. Bottom line, to feel good, you gotta love yourself. Only by loving yourself 
you can then love others. For relationships to work, we gotta focus on the positive in other people as well. We gotta take charge of our thoughts. The secret to health. This chapter starts explaining us how the placebo effect really works. The placebo is simply a medication that doesn't have any medical usefulness. It's nothing. It's like not taking anything. But simply because we believe it works, the mind makes it work. And this is a very interesting principle that I understood reading this one. The Power of Your Subconscious Mind by Joseph Murphy. Awesome book. Stress. Stress is originally based on our thinking. Laughter truly is the best medicine of all. Which is why I tend to have a very humorous approach to life. Take it easy, take it easy, enjoy the ride, take it easy. Relax into wealth, laugh into wealth, laugh into health. This is a very powerful point as well. Beliefs about aging are all in our mind. Aging is a creation of the way we process time. There is no such thing as time. Time is an invention. Time is eternity. Time is standing still. Time is not going anywhere. We come in and go away. Fantastico. When I listened to this concept for the first time, I felt like <laughs> my brain was stretching. Pretty cool stuff. I open it. The fact that aging is just a creation, result of the bad programming of our society, it's also explained in another very good book, Ageless Body, Timeless Mind by Deepak Chopra. Focus on health and eternal youth. These three chapters all end with a common theme, focus on happiness. And happiness is simply a choice. We can be happy now, we can be happy here, we can be happy with no reason. <laughs> Anything we focus on, we create. That's it. All matter is merely energy. And we discovered that this book should have been the presentation of Hebra. This video has been brought to you by us at Real Estate Helpful Solutions. We buy houses helping people. Now, while acting, while acting, yeah, this is German, while heck, no, without the H, as Marfi Shminov says, Marfi Shminov, is that how you pronounce it? Mar Marcy Shminov. Marcy Shminov says, as Mar Marcy, as Marcy Shminov, as Marcy Shminov, as Marcy Shminov, as Marcy Shminov, as Marcy Shminov says, as, Mar as Marcy Shminov, as Marcy Shminov, Shminov. As Murphy Zminov says, I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. Be better with books.